What's now boys? What is going on? And welcome back to the third foot birthday play review. We have done Anaki Williams. We have done, uh, was it Mario Hermoso, I believe. And now we have got Moses Simon. I believe he had a team of the season last FIFA and he was one of the first drops as well. Um, I believe he was a fan voted one. We like the, the community voted team of the season last FIFA. Absolutely unbelievable card. He was like 300k, which at that stage of the game was considered expensive. Boys, this card is last FIFA anyway was a definition of over, uh, like just meta, just broken. 99 agility, 99 balance, 95 pace. This man is going to be rapid, so I'm actually looking forward to this. 93,000 coins, the cheapest one on the market as well. So usually I'd say the worst one, but let's be honest. The worst one is still considered absolutely unreal when you have a look at his stats. Boys, if you do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Also, first link, I do. I am starting to stream on Twitch. I stream my weekly rewards on YouTube. And I'm going to start streaming four to five times a week on Twitch. I'll be streaming basically the majority of my weekend league over on Twitch this weekend. So the link will be in the top description. We're coming up on 200 followers on there as well. Now, for Amling Boys, coming in at five foot six. Medium, medium work rates, right footed, not that that matters because he does have that 5 star weak foot and the 4 star skill moves. It's for apply attribute details, sorry, 95 pace, the man is rapid, 82 shooting's not crazy, nor is 78 passing, but when you look at his dribbling, 92 dribbling, 99 agility, 99 balance. His reactions to 75 is a little bit underwhelming, but other than that, this card looks a definition of meta, 84 stamina and 99 jumping. This man is literally like a salmon, 5 foot 6, 99 jumping. Honestly, boys, player traits as well, he does not have any. So we have gone ahead and we have went with the dead eye. So pace you don't have to touch, but the dead eye gives him plus 10 finishing, plus 10 positioning, and plus 11 shot power. So 94 positioning, 93 finishing, and 99 shot power will be a massive upgrade. He also goes to 93 vision, and I believe that plus 15 short passing boost will put him up to 80, 93. It'll put him up to 90. 93, I believe. Yeah, 93 short passing. I can't do maths. I've had not much sleep. 93 short passing. So that plus 15 short passing will be an absolutely incredible boost. Boys, I'm looking forward to this. One more thing as well, the custom tactics. We've had to build a new team to fit him in. We'll be playing him in as a left cam in a 4 triple 2 Get into the box and drift wide, the exact same with Robin. Um, and now with Pele and Ronaldo, we do have them both on stay central, get in behind. And that's the exact same for attacking. Get into the box and drift wide. Get into the box, making runs into the box. When, let's say, Robin has the ball, Simon will make his way into that box. And drift wide, we really want to use him as a winger. 99 agility, 99 balance for man is rapid. You really want to use him as a winger. And, and as a 4 triple 2 the left and right cam with drift wide, they do work as, as if they are a winger, which you guys will see, because we really want to abuse that pace. Without further ado, let's get in to the Moses Simon review. Here we go, boys. We are full sending it in foot champs. This is my third or fourth game. I believe we're two. And, no, we're two and zero right now. I think so. Like I said, we could be facing someone else two and zero, or we could be facing someone that just has a plus two. Who knows? So this will be either very sweaty, or who who knows the foot champs in the first five games. You either start off poor and finish good, or you start off uh, amazing and finish bad. So first of all, he's got that new uh, Apollo. I can't even say his name. But as an Arsenal fan, I should do better. I love this dude in real life. It's an unbelievable team. He's got moments by luck in there. It's a different team. It's a unique team. Bar the Neymar. It's, I like it, man. I like it. So, tough opponent. Sweaty. Let's just say sweaty because Jesus Christ. I actually want to see how he is. Dude, he's, at, he's very, very short. Okay, on the ball. Oh, my God. That 99 agility and 99 balance. Damn, that is unbelievable. I think he's the first card I've reviewed that has 99 agility and 99 balance. That is ridiculous. Simon on this. We're just going to pass this to Simon. Four-star skill move. Send Roberto Carlos away. Chip that over. That's his weak foot. I should not pro probably not the best move there. Simon going in. He's a little man, isn't he? Go on. Can he finish that? Oh my god. It's a dream debut. It's a dream debut. He feels insane on that ball. That four-star skill moves. And what a finish as well. What a dream debut. Five minutes in. What a goal as well. Holy shit. Brilliant start. Brilliant start. Palais out to Simon. 
Let's put the sprinters on. Can he outdo him? He can. I was going to say that tackle. I could already see. As soon as I started to do that trade back, I knew Dumfries was going to get through to that. Now, the one problem with him is obviously five foot six. He doesn't have insane strength. I believe it's 60-something. So he's going to get pushed off a ball. Like I said, you just have to try to avoid getting into physical contact like I just did, which was a poor example. You really just want to get in behind with him, and you'll sweet. If you can get in behind, he's got a very good shot on him with that five-star weak foot and that dead eye applied. So you can really capitalize on his strengths. Ronaldo out wide to Simon. Simon, once again, that very responsive. One of the most responsive cards I have actually used this FIFA. More responsive than my Pele, I would say. Just... But Agilian balances everything, and last year it was literally one of the most meta stats in the game, hence why his team of the season was like 300k. I, I can see why. I can really see why. Go on, Simon. Sending that to Pale. Pale versus Van Dijk here. Pale still going on. Got a ball roll in. Man, this is very hard. My opponent's just sitting back and playing like a rat, to be honest. I, I hate to admit it, he is playing like a little bit of a possession rat, so it's very hard to break down. Thinking we just go attacking, constant pressure, and full send it, man. Going attacking, boys. We are going attacking. Simon. Oh, poor pass. Very poor pass. His passing isn't anything special as well. 78 passing that, plus 15 short passing is nice, but very, very rough pass here, given possession away. Go on, Moses. I mean, it was a terrible pass, but it worked. That was an atrocious pass. I mean, I'm happy it worked out. Can we get one more attack? Please, let me get one more EA. Add one more minute. Go on, there's one more minute at a time. South Chance, Robin, making that run. Come on. I'm going to just back post that to Palais. Yeah, okay. Fair play. It's Casper Schmeichel in his net, Peter Schmeichel in mine, so it's, it's very interesting. 1-1, one, one, I was probably I was mainly dominant in this half. We were fifth, my opponent was 56% position, 56 position going into it, so he did have a majority of the ball this half. I feel like my opponent's either going to score a jammy goal or it's going to go to pens. I don't know, boys. I don't know. Okay, boys, a 2-1 loss. Honestly, we deserve a win. My opponent wasn't great. He was just more a position rat, if anything, but it is what it is. Moses Simon getting that goal to start off with. Very solid card. Let's hop over to the pros and cons screen. Boys heading on over to his pros and cons. Starting off with his pros, it is going to be his pace. It's going to be his shooting with a dead eye applied, that is. And it is going to be his dribbling. Now, under also, I did forget to mention the four star, five star, of course. Now, under cons, it is literally just going to be, honestly, it's going to be his passing and it's going to be his strength slash aggression, which is aka his physical. His physical, you just, 77 strength may not seem bad, but the 43. Aggression, 77 strength, 5 foot 6, going towards let's say a 6 foot 4 of Iran. You know, it'll, he'll very he'll, he'll struggle in those positions. You really have to capitalize on his pace and his shooting. I did put under a pro because with that dead eye chemistry style applied, he does go all the way up to 93 finishing and 99 shot power. Now, under cons, it is actually his passing. I genuinely found his passing quite underwhelming, even with that dead eye plus 15 short passing boost. I would still say the dead eye is a best chemistry style to use but as a left cam left wing left mid you are looking for a little bit more than just 78 passing so that is the one downside with this card but other than that as you saw that wonder goal we scored just starting off was beautiful my opponent made it 1-1 went to extra time and sadly he did nick it in the 110th minute i believe but overall boys a very solid card for the rating considering how he performed and the value out of 10 today he's going to get a nice solid eight and a half out of 10 he's a very good card a very good winger i should say only 93,000 coins and he's going to be dropping i'd say 70,000 coins in the next week or so which is absolute it's a steal for him even if you get him and let's say they release player picks if you get him first owner untradeable chuck him on the bench bring him on in the 60th 70th minute and you've got a pace agility and balance demon running at your opponent's defense so a very solid card value hopefully you guys did enjoy this review make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more player reviews objective guides pack openings and all that good stuff Till next time, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, lads.